spend your time chasing butterflies, they'll fly away. But if you spend your time making a beautiful garden, the butterflies will come to you. When you focus on improving yourself, everything you want will come to you. We attract based on who we are, not what we want. Don't chase, attract. Take a moment to think have you ever chased something in your life so you're trying to kill an animal and then you're chasing the animal chicken goats cow you're trying to get a contract you're trying to get a brand deal clients to work with you and you're trying to be in a relationship i know at some point in our lives some of us have now from my experience and just like the audio said you have to be the garden that everything that you're chasing in wants to happily or easily thrive in you have to create the garden for the butterflies to come in without you having to run after them if you're trying to chase a child that is playing outside to be inside you have to attract that child to come in without making a fuss or crying or making a whole scene of the situation if you are trying to kill animals you have to look for a way to lure them in without you making a fool of yourself. And with clients, you have to create a functional business for your clients to want to be involved in. Why is it called a chase? You are chasing, you are running after it. The fact that you are running after it, the item, the person, the possibility, the animal, anything that you are chasing after is literally running for their own life because you are chasing after it. Will someone chase you and you stand there? Obviously, no, you run for your life and that is what is happening to you. If you are trying to chase anything, that thing is going to keep running. That's why you need to create a garden for it to come and meet you. At least, there are lots of situations you cannot control. You can't force clients to work with you. You cannot force a man to be with you. You cannot force people to be in a relationship with you. You cannot force friendships on people. That being said, you have to be the garden that all of these things will want to be and easily come to why like i said if you are chasing after it it will keep running you have to sit still work on your garden and be that environment that all of these things that you're chasing will want to thrive in so here are simple steps that you can be the garden everyone wants to be around the first step is for you to rebrand so you have an existing business and it was probably thriving and all of a sudden everything just stops happening clients stop coming people stop making inquiries this is a sign that you need to rebrand obviously they are getting that service from someone else what is that thing that that person is doing that you are not doing this is not a competition but you just have to work on your garden does your business look really low budget do you attend to them with humility are you humble to your client do you try to understand them do you try to listen to them do you cater to their needs that's why they need you right you can't be proud and rude to your clients and you expect them to stay you can't have a business that looks really low budget and you want them to come and probably pay you heavily for it it won't work so that's that's why you need to rebrand. Do you need to change your logo? Do you need to change your color palette? Just do a soul search and see where you can rebrand. Same thing about friendships. Are you that person that your friends can call a friend? Are you just there to receive and not give? This isn't about money. You can give care, you can give attention, you can give love as well. But do you always go there to receive all of those and not give back any? In that type of situation, you're calling a friend. The friend will probably be looking at your call like, ah, I'm not ready for this right now. Do you have a bad temper that you need to work on? Are you a gossip? Part. do a soul search search yourself and look for something that you need to work on i've said it over and over again and nobody wants to review you you have to upgrade and you need to keep rebranding yourself to be the best version of yourself everyone has their own battles that they are fighting nobody wants to add your own character you as a problem to their own problems if you're a good listener people would want to call you it can be draining to answer a lot of questions but that's the thing you will be needed people would want to call you if you are humble clients will want to talk to you if you listen to your clients they'll want to lay their complaints if they feel like they are being heard of course they will keep coming back with their jobs but if you are rude to them making them feel like you are doing them a favor obviously it's their money they don't want to pay a huge amount and not be respected and you see the need to rebrand that's our first step the second step is for you to focus on what you have right now what is in your hand right now you have to make the best out of it so with a business you are trying to rebrand 
you've probably thought of it try to change your store your business card something about your business you probably need the services of a project manager you probably need the service of just somebody to enhance your business and you're like oh I don't have this money i'll need to wait i cannot remodel this store right now because i don't have this money let's say in friendships everybody in your life probably ran away because of how your attitude was and you're like oh when i get another friend I'm going to work on my character. You're absolutely wrong. You need to start with what you have. If it's in your business, what you can do is look for how you can do it yourself. We have YouTube, we have Google. We can use all of this to our advantage. Stop being lazy and wait for someone else to do that service for you. Look for the little things that you can use to improve your business. Even if it's a makeover, there are cheaper ways to do stuff. DIY is your best friend. If you do not have that luxury, get your hands dirty and get to work. You might not be as good as an expert would make it, but that's what you have. You need to work on that. And when you work on that little step and you start getting clients, you can get the service of an expert. You need to start working on your character with people that can't even offer you anything. Be kind to them, listen to them, talk to them, greet them, be humble, relate with them. They don't have anything to offer you. So you know for sure that being nice to them is you working on yourself. You are not doing it to gain anything from them. You are practicing to be a better person. And trust me, when you're in the church or any gathering and people see how nice you are, they would naturally want to be with you. They would naturally want to be around you. Naturally want to be involved in your life and have a relationship with you. Now the third step is for you to work on your mindset. You need to know that you are good enough to have the things that you desire. You are good enough for those things to come to you. You don't have to keep chasing them. You are rebranding and you are focusing on what you have. You are going to get everything that you desire is naturally going to come to you without you having to chase stop doing the self-sabotage downplay pessimism you are the real deal nobody can do what you can do like you do it nobody can offer the service that you offer the way you do yes they might get a better service but something might be lacking you might not get it the way that you would have gotten it nobody can listen the way that you can listen nobody can give advice nobody can talk to any other person the same way that you would so you are the real deal you just need to rebrand and be the best that you can in your business in your friendships in your relationships every single area of your life work on being the garden you can't see a good person and not want to be that person's friend you can't see a good person a good company and not want them to do your job for you the fourth step is for you to detach and let go stop pressing in stop checking if it's working if you need to press in press in with your prayer and focusing on beautifying your garden let's say you're supposed to do a project for somebody you can't be asking them are you ready to start the project or when are you going to start the project you can't keep calling them like that there is a follow-up but when you begin to press in you begin to check on them every single time they're just going to get irritated like don't this person have other things to do they're always calling your friends oh let's meet let's meet let's meet let's do this let's go here let's they're like oh god don't you have something else to do with your time so by all means detach and let go you really need to do something if you really want something so bad Talk to God. God has the heart of a king in his palm. It's like a channel of river that he wills everywhere that he wants to. So press it to God. He can take that pressure. But if you are giving that pressure to human beings, they're going to run. They're going to be irritated and they'll run away. It's the same thing with you. If anybody is disturbing you, calling you like, what's the problem? What is all this? That is a worst case scenario you do not want to be in. So the time that you are using to check, oh, is this working? Is this going to use that time in prayers? Use that time to be working on yourself. Use that time to be rebranding yourself. Use that time to be working on your mindset. Mindset doesn't just happen just like that. You need time to work on it. So use all of that time for your own self. Now the fifth step is for you to feed your mind. For the times that you'll be down because you will, I know how you want something so bad and it's not happening at the moment. You're going to feel down, you're a human being. That's why you need to feed your mind with positivity. Take breaks, detox as much as you can. Take a break from rebranding yourself. You are not a machine. Leave a little. Go on walks, play, watch movies, do things that can refresh your mind. When you do that and you come back to work, you might have better tips. You might have better ideas to work on. Don't bury yourself in your work. Don't bury yourself in rebranding yourself. Don't bury yourself in wanting something to happen, okay? Take as much breaks as you can. 
you are not a machine. Now the last step is for you to trust God not to fail you. There's a scripture that says, be diligent in your work and you will sit before kings. So if you are not sitting before kings right now, you are not diligent. If you have been putting in the work, if you have been diligent and you have not sat before kings, keep being diligent. Do not give up. Who knows? when that time comes you're going to get way better than you were expected because you have already pivoted to the very top level you can't get mediocre prices anymore you can't get mediocre rates anymore you're going to get better rates you're going to get better opportunities you're going to get you're going to meet better people so yes today's price is definitely not today's price so trust god keep reminding him praying keep worshiping He's God. He's the one that will bring you opportunities. Another scripture says that you can plant, but it is God that will cause it to grow. So keep planting and God is going to cause it to grow. And when it's growing, know how God works. Straight to the sky, okay? You're going to go from here, straight here, okay? These are the few steps in which you can be a garden to attract all that you desire and stop chasing it. You must be tired by now. Stop chasing people. Stop chasing good contracts. Stop pressing on things. Stop desiring things. What you should desire more is God's presence. Okay? With these few steps, I'm sure that you will be the garden that everything that you are desiring will come at ease and dwell wherever your garden is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment, like this video, and kindly share as well. If you are not subscribed yet, Please click the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.